somebody that you all know, Mr. Bob Parker. Robert Parker is an iconic figure. He is the most important person in the wine industry, in the world wine industry today. I was able to achieve uh, Parker's first 100 score for uh, North America and pretty much this hemisphere. I do see people pursuing their own dream and pursuing their own idea of what wine should be, regardless of what Parker says about it. My time is best spent to try and make the best goddamn wine possible and not going around trying to sweet talk uh, customers and sweet talk journalists and get write ups. But that's what I did for the first five years. I thought I had a very naive and idealistic point of view that if I just made the best goddamn wine possible, uh, eventually quality would speak for itself. And the wines that get written up and the wines that get sold are the ones where you got the most people hustling to get those wines in, through the door and into the magazines. Uh, I decided to go with the uh, with the FedEx uh, delivery, and uh, I read the issue as soon as it comes out. What Parker says about it is exuberant, hedonistic quantities of white chocolate, black currants, sweet cherries, and Christmas fruit cake. The next person that becomes the Robert Parker will have to understand my blueprint because that's the way the world is going. I can make them break the wine not only in New York City but but in Singapore exactly. or right. Stock around the world. Yeah. Yeah. There are a handful of elements that have to be satisfied for that wine to be great. Most people, when they start out buying wine, and if they pursue it, it, it is scary.